All right, we're back in the DMV zone here, checking in with Fox5DC.com, and of course, John Colucci and what he is working on hey. this Friday. Hello. Oh man, this story has got a lot of yes. people riled up. Riled up, and we didn't really mention it earlier in the week, but we have a very searchable guide at the bottom. You know the technology we use to make those timelines? Yeah. Well, we have, we use the same technology to create this little search box. You can type in your street, like Whitehurst, and it will tell you, you know, if the automated, ugh, where the automated traffic cam so cameras does that mean there will are be. Two there? Can I get the word out. Uh, no, I'm sorry. So that means I was going to get to that. Though, that is the ward. Understood. So you can search this okay. by ward. You can search it by location. So this way you kind of get an idea where the cameras are going to be. That's great. I mean, so I think that's very useful for people. Yeah, yeah definitely. And totally. And we all slow down at the cameras, whether or not we're speeding. I know that much. I know. I got a few of those. And I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Uh, so we also talked about this yesterday quite a bit the oh, Metro yeah. Fair proposal. But what we also uh, had is a TikTok that Maddie made. She's not here right now. But uh, during the live shot, during David Kaplan's live shot, we literally caught all these people jumping the fair gates right behind him. Yeah, right no, this him. was this was like it's like like shameless. <laughs> wild, and, and I know that people think that there and there is a larger conversation yeah. about those who can afford public transportation totally. or etc. Yeah, but I think that there's also a real conversation about people who just wanted to fight the law. Yes. Um, so, uh, how many times have you signed a personal subscription service and it is a pain in the butt to cancel it? All the time. All the time. Like Sirius XM is one of them. Oops, sorry, did I shame you on air? I don't care. <laughs> um, so the FTC is working to make it easier to cancel those plans. So basically, it should be just as easy to cancel it with a click of a button as it is to sign up. Really? Not dealing with having to call somebody and then like harass you. Uh, well, how many times do you unsubscribe for an email listserv from one of these oh, companies? Well, Name any. That's a whole and you other still thing. get emails from them and you're like, I, I just did this six times already. Yeah. I don't want another email for 50% off. I tried to cancel a wine club membership once and it was, and they were, they, I got so riled up, but I'm like, I need lots of wine to <laughs> pacify myself. I'm like, wait, they just got me. I'm like, I want all this wine. Um, real quick, TikTok, uh, obviously that's a big conversation. So you got a good article that explains how TikTok collects your data, even if you're not using the platform. Oh. Even so, even in the story here, this Metro Fair story, we've got an embed of the TikTok in here. There's data in there that, you know, it could be trying to figure. It's not like bad data. It's not like fairies no, data, but, course, but it's there. they're collecting just about anything um, they can. And uh, there, that. I'm not even going to say any words. Just Australia, snake, slithering in her bed. Oh, her bed. Yeah. yeah, that seems like something you'd see in the outback. Oh, boy, this story. And here we go. Take a look at this pizza, the corn, Look at this. Please. Yum. Remember the corn kid? Wasn't he so cute? That adorable. Oh, like, corn. like, I love corn. Uh, well, yeah. he may or may not love this. this we have not found out about this. This has got to be an April Fool's, y'all. I can't imagine it has that to this be. is legit. We, we did look to make sure, can you order this? You cannot find you can't, no. the corn on the cob pizza from Little Caesars. But, but. also, there, apparently you also get a two-liter of liquefied butter. Which, although some people, you know, they like the butter and the coffee, like the whole, like, clarified, you know, the oh, yeah, whole the oil proof. So maybe this is like that. N no. It's a health food? I mean, it's kind of a vibe. Oh, yes, yes, a health food. I would eat the pizza with just, like, cor the corn on the pizza itself, I'm fine with. I would eat it. Okay. Well, to each their own. There's there's no market you know, for everything, John. But not that. Not not the not that. No. All right. Well, Fox5DC.com. You can catch all those stories. Appreciate Flash, it. I see why I'm. Yeah, mine. but I think the camera story, the one that where you can search all the cameras. Yes. Very very Check helpful. All right. Thank you, John. Absolutely. As I uh, make my way, I'm gonna walk backwards I, I here. I want to talk about that two gallons, <laughs> two liters of butter. Can we talk about the two liters of clarified that butter? Is Where can an I April get that? April Fool's publicity stunt from Little Caesars. It's not April question. Fool's yet. That's, I, I know, think that's it's what real. everybody's saying. It's like, why come out with something? I'm trying to tell you, it's real. You it's real. So? Right, There's well, a special menu. <laughs> when and you I'll, find it, bring it in. I'm going to get you two liters of clarified butter. <laughs> that sounds like it's right up my alley. <laughs> All right, Joe, so obviously there's uh, big talkers out there, mm -hmm. and families everywhere, they're feeling the pinch of inflation. Yes, we are. Millennials, though, turning to their parents for help, and I think millennials have been that generation that constantly have done that. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard. I include myself in the millennial generation because I I've am. Heard. I wasn't going to say anything. But here's the thing. Instead of asking for cash, these millennials are saying, Mom and Dad, can I move back in? <laughs> and can you babysit? Don't forget that part. Well, that's what the New York Post is saying. Details on how one family of four found a solution by moving a massive house to fit several people in it. So you got mom, dad, uh -huh. their two kids now living with grandma and grandpa, uh -huh. and even a great grandma. And great grandma. And they're all splitting the housing costs. So they've eliminated the need for child care. And they're saying, listen, it's a win-win. We can all afford this house. We don't have to pay for child care because now we've got our village under this one roof. Right. <laughs> I'm not. But but hold on a second. Do you want to move back in with your parents? All right, the here's the thing. I personally could not live with my parents because of how progressive they were. 
I couldn't live. I, my, like, my mother would let me come for a few hours to her house, then you got to get out. <laughs> then you got to go all of me and my siblings. However, I understand sort of the sentiment behind yeah. it. So you, you, put it this way, my mother is, the, is uh, one of nine kids. So that was a household with... It, to 11, 12, 13 people in it. That wasn't that, and that was the norm. So a household with what was that, seven people? About. Let's let's get, you know, I can see. Okay, cool. We can do that, and we can have split costs for food, for rent, for uh, child care, and everything else. I mean, I think the sad reality is that housing is absolutely too expensive for True so indeed. many people. Child care is again oh my God. almost unaffordable oh for, for so many people. And even go to the supermarket these days will yes, break indeed. the bank. So it, everything's so expensive that you just my, have to figure it out. My son is still in trouble. He threw some eggs away. Oh, You know, no. he didn't eat all his eggs and threw some in the trash. Oh, Naima went <laughs> not, crazy. Not, not in 2023. Mm -hmm. She made him an egg shell sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna eat these shells too. <laughs> Speaking of families, every parent knows what it's like to get that unsolicited advice when a new baby's on the way. Well, researchers actually estimate that they get more than 200 recommendations in the baby's first six months. Don't look at me. <laughs> I don't have a baby yet. I'm just it's well, still cooking. Getting, but I'm sure people are in your ear. A new study breaking down the most annoying pieces of advice. Here are the top five. Sleep when the baby sleeps. I always used to do this, and my kids turned out fine. Stop holding the baby so much. You're spoiling them. You must have a second baby or otherwise you're just selfish. Your other child will suffer. It'll be spoiled. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you're not holding the baby correctly. Oh. Everyone loves... I, here's the thing. is We're humans, and I think that mm -hmm. is the, the fatal flaw of the human, is that we know best. We think we know best. We think we know everything. Listen, I, I'm, I'm sure all of those can be annoying, but that number one, sleep when the baby sleeps, I have to, I'm going to say it forever. You better. You better. <laughs> or you'll better. never sleep. Or you ain't going to sleep. Look at me. I'm still tired. My child is 13 years old because I was always, you know, not sleeping properly. Man hasn't slept in 13 years. 13 you years. That? Well, actually, more than that, since I ain't slept since I met my wife, but that's a whole other story, <laughs> Marina. I hope she's not watching. Oh, she's ever. watching. And I'm telling her, she know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> all right, everybody, let us know what you think about all this advice. Hashtag us DMV Zone. Of course, you can find us on Twitter. We'll be right back.